This is the smallest island in the Greater Antilles. It's the oldest city in the U.S. territory. And it's the birthplace of the Pina Colada. Welcome to San Juan, Puerto Rico. One of the fun things to do when you're visiting Old San Juan is to take a stroll down the charming streets to get a real historic feel of the area. Now this is the main boulevard, Calle Fortaleza, and some of the best shopping in Puerto Rico can be done right here. You guys are going to love Old San Juan. It's the kind of place that stays with you long after you're gone. There's so much to see and do. And the good news for you, your ship usually docks right here, just a few blocks away from the center of town, which means you are literally within walking distance of everything beautiful Old San Juan has to offer. Right off Calle Fortaleza on Calle Cruz, you'll find a magical place for the whole family, the butterfly people. This is a San Juan institution. It's been family owned and operated for over 40 years. They are the originators of this particular art form. It's exquisite and it's a must see. So what's a trip to Old San Juan without a pina colada? Barrachina Village happens to be the birthplace of the pina colada. And David here is gonna show me how to make one. Okay, David, so tell me about the piña colada. The piña colada was created in this restaurant in 1963 by Don Ramón Poltas Mingot. Okay, well, let's give this a try. Cheers. Gracias. Mm. Another Barbados exclusive right here in the cruise terminal are the Calypso Rum Cakes. They are delicious, and you definitely need to try one. My favorite <laughs> is the lemon ginger. I'm going for that one. Okay. Lemon ginger. Mmm. So I'm sitting here with the owner of Ryan's. This is Angela, and Angela, I hear the food here is amazing. Just standing in line with some of the locals, they say this is the best place to get the best authentic food here on the island. And I must agree, we have the best food on Broad Street. Yeah, so what is one of the favorite dishes here? Flying fish with cuckoo. You guys gotta come on down here and try some of this amazing food. And meet Angela. The entire island is only 37 square miles. It's the smallest island in the world to be divided by two nations, the Dutch and the French. It's home to the guava berry. It has some of the best scenery. And shopping in the Caribbean. Welcome to St. Martin. And this looks good on my arm. This is the Parasol purses. I love these. These are perfect for travel. And the scarves are interchangeable. Lightweight, perfect for your vacation. Royal Caribbean is a store you have to explore during your day in St. Thomas and it's located right in the heart of Main Street. Located on the corner of Trumpeter's Gata and Main Street, you'll find the Cartier Boutique and it's one of the world's only standalone boutiques. The name Cartier just says it all. So while you're in St. Thomas, make sure you stop by here. The newest Cartier timepiece is the Tank Anglaise. It's absolutely stunning and also considered fine jewelry. It's got all these diamonds on the side. Beautiful, and it's at the top of every collector's wish list. Ladies, if you're looking for that one piece of jewelry that you can wear with any outfit, then look no further than Royal Jewelers. This versatile necklace will go with absolutely everything. It's silver on one side and gold on the other. They're located right on Hibiscus Alley, the Belgian chocolate factory. This one is not making it back to the ship. Whether you know exactly what you're looking for or just shopping for a new toy, the friendly and knowledgeable staff is more than happy to help. So if it's a new camera you need or a beautiful piece of jewelry, stop by Royal Caribbean Electronics. Asman features authentic island elegance. This handcrafted wearable art is made right here in St. Thomas. So take a piece of the Caribbean home with you. Well, I have had a great day in St. Thomas. If you have any questions before you leave the ship, make sure you see your fun find shopping experts so they can help you plan your perfect day in St. Thomas.